My name is Frankie. I drive this 2013 Mazda Miata. I was just looking for a car to just uh, go to the track. At that time, uh, three years back, my friend uh, Andrew, he had this red Miata. He always asked me to come uh, help him build his car. And then he actually let me take it out to Streets of Willow. And it was my first time on track in a rear wheel drive car. And I just loved it, right? So I was like, man, I really need to like get back out there on the track. I haven't been tracking for like the past six years. So I started looking for um, more affordable rear wheel drive cars. I, I could still daily. It was either this car, an S2000, or a Mustang. I couldn't find a Mustang that I liked, or I don't think I would like fit the stereotype of a Mustang. And then the S2000, I felt like there's a lot of S2000 owners out there, and if I want to try to do my own thing, I'll just be part of the crowd. So I decided to get um, the NC instead. When I was looking at NCs, I noticed that there's three different generations, the NC1s, NC2s, and NC3s. The club really popped out to me, so you know, I decided to go on that. I decided to just get this car and just do regular autocrossing, so just stock car autocrossing and not go too crazy with it. I did about five autocross events and then I completely sucked at it. I did not know where to go. The cones were all pointing in different directions and I was just hitting cones left and right. I was like, uh, you know what, let me, let me try like to take this car to a track day. Um, took it to the track day and I just never looked back. starts with the cane and air filter. You gotta start with that. That's like at least a 10 horsepower gain. I have a Tomei header to a uh, racing deep uh, race pipe and I paired that with a uh, Goodwin Racing race muffler. For suspension, I'm currently on a uh, Fox from a Flying Miata with a 13K front rates and a 8K in the rear. Uh, for sway bar, I have the Flying Miata 28 millimeter up front and just uh, OEM rear sway bar. Splitter and arrow wise, I have the race brake components front splitter with their mounting brackets. And I'm currently testing out their new GT wing for the NC Miata brackets and the airfoil. You gotta have NKR Fiat ones on a Miata or else it's not a Miata. But I decided to get in blue. I wanna be a little bit flashy. So make it a little bit different. I like it, it pops in pictures. Interior wise, I have the Blackbird Fabworks roll bar. Uh, Recaro SPG bucket seat and a Crow six point. Other stuff, tiny nitbits I have would be the race spread components uh, shifter and their universal floor plates. Honestly, that's a tough question because for me, I'm not really a car builder. I kind of enjoy just driving more and I like challenging myself as a driver. But I know in order to hit some certain times, I have to prep my car to meet that uh, specification. So in terms of building up the car engine wise, for sure add a tune and maybe add cams and leave it at that. Um, anything more would 
I probably won't fit into any uh, classing for uh, any Time Attack series. As far as suspension, I would like to fine tune it more or maybe get something that's more track oriented. The bumps in the SoCal tracks are very, very bumpy. And my current suspension, they're not soaking it up too well. Um, so that, that would be uh, on my to-do list also. As far as arrow wise I still want to keep it more on the simple side. Something that when I drive down the street, it won't, you know, be breaking necks from uh, from the younger crowd or something. Like that. I don't know how to explain that properly, but you know, just a simple splitter, maybe optimize it some more, uh, have it a little wider and have some front diffusers to it. The wing is still gonna be the same. As far as driving for me, I just want to become a better driver. I always want to challenge myself, no matter what, if I get a PV, I always, there's always another half second or a second but because you know there's you're always doing something wrong on track that that perfect lap is never perfect so uh, those are my current goals don't know how long I want to keep the car for as I do want to drive other platforms um, from front wheel drive four wheel drive rear wheel drive doesn't matter <laughs> Thank you to Race Bread Components. They provided me with the front splitter and some uh, aero components where I'm able to fully maximize my car for the 2019 Roaster Cup season. And it helped me came up uh, on top. Second, I would like to thank Doghouse Garage. They uh, provide me with a garage to work on my car in uh, before track events. And they provide me with track time where I get to go out and just have fun and practice on my uh, driving skills or whatever you want to call it. Another two companies I want to say thank you to is uh, True Performance Motorsports. They provide me with tires on my 2019 season and it just kept my car consistent uh, throughout the year. And last is uh, Shareworks. He helps me set up my car via alignments and corner balancing and all these guys were the main reasons why I was able to come out on top on a roaster cup. And uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank Roaster Cup as a series. They are an amateur time attack, uh, time attack series for Miata drivers where um, they have four classes where people could just take their Miatas and compete against each other. And yeah, that, that's it. That, that, this is me. This is my car. And yeah.